We are Arson River, and you're watching Meet the Locals. Friday at 3. April here with Radio Not Entertainment. I'm doing your segment, Meet the Locals. I'm sitting here with Arson River from Minneapolis. How are you guys doing? Pretty swell. Good. Awesome. That's good. So introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Matthew. I play guitar. Spencer, I play drums. Jesse, I play the bass. Andy, I'm singer guitar player. Well, thank you guys for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, how did you guys get started as a band? I suppose I should probably field that one. Should I talk into this too? Okay. <laughs> um, well, after my last band broke up, Black Days Down, I just started writing and writing and writing, and this was always something I had in mind to do, and uh, I just never, in my wildest dreams, imagined that it would come to this with guys like this, yeah. um, and it's come into its own thing, and uh, I worked on this record for a long time, and then as it kind of evolved, um, the members just fell into place. So uh, it's been a, a different way to start a band, but a really effective one. And we feel like we got to skip some steps along yeah. the way, too. So. Um, so, how would you guys describe your music to say someone who's never heard it before? Um, I guess it'd just be kind of a straight up modern rock sound. Um, pretty radio friendly, keep a lot of things really clean. Um, just out of I think personal decisions as far as lyric content and how we choose to write verses or uh, choruses and, and the links in between like that. We try to go with um, a simple style. I think I mean, we don't think too hard about anything. It seems like a lot of stuff comes out pretty naturally. I think that must just kind of be our style together and how the chemistry is and stuff like that. So, I always say grungy with futuristic feel. I can put any wrong. <laughs> That's how I play the music. Okay. <laughs> However you see it. Um, so you guys just released a new album today? Is it any given day, it just came out today. So okay. we couldn't be more thrilled that it's actually coming out. It's been way too long in the process and the making and we just really hope that uh, word of mouth would make this thing catch on fire. Um, stuff like this, like you having us in here is awesome too. So, uh, yeah, we're excited, we're nervous. Every all the, it's like a first date when you drop an album and feel vulnerable and yeah. everything else. So uh, we're really stoked to have it out. Yeah. It's getting so deep. It's vulnerable. Throw the word out there. I am vulnerable. But strong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a pretty good characteristic of how to describe it. It is our first steps out there publicly to people and pushing it. Um, what turns you guys on uh, creative-wise, spiritually, or emotionally? Um, everything kind of does. I mean, I don't think any one of us do this and aren't already turned on in the slightest by any form of everyday life. Mm -hmm whether it be positive or negative, and just trying to find an outlet to push that out there and get it out of our system. I think we've all been playing music for quite a while and our instruments for quite a while. And it's the whole reason we sat down in the bedroom or the basement when we started doing it was there was something, for me, there was a niche there that was an outlet that couldn't be brought up any other way with any, anything else that I do. And even though there's a lot of things in life to enjoy and to have an outlet for, this is just one that I can't be beat. Personally, so. Burgers and root beer helps. <laughs> and he bribes me sometimes with it and it definitely <laughs> boosts that creativity. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, kind of what he was hitting on is it's it's more than just playing music, but it's, I think all of us since we were really young, it's just what we have done, you know, yeah. just to express emotion or whatever. It's deeper than just playing songs. That's such a loaded question. Yeah. Um, basically, for me, it's um, kind of like what Wahlberg said, everyday life is a really good way to reflect um, musically. 
Um, if we didn't have this outlet, I think a lot of us probably feel like we'd be dead without it. Um, I for one, for sure. Um, and yeah, I'll just stick with that. Yeah, it's, it <laughs> seems a little dark to say that, but it's really true. <laughs> well, I think yeah, every artist you know. kind of sees it that way. It's like anything can can spark creativity or emotion. Um, and, you know, there's a spiritual aspect that I think artists and especially musicians alike kind of click to and that, that strain of music kind of flows with every musician. Um, and it's the common thread between us for sure and uh we're, we're four totally dynamic different personalities that couldn't be closer niched mm -hmm. musically so um yeah that's a good answer it's just what i feel with this too like i feel that like now that i've gotten this segment going where i almost feel like i'd be dead without it because like i love meeting you know people like you just the musicians that are doing what they love and that they're passionate about right that's exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what have been some of your guys' best memories together so far? We're new, so we're making them. Yeah. Um, and that's the fun part of it. It's yeah. like, uh, for me, I just fell in love all <laughs> over again. Um, I'm married, but uh, this is... Well, we don't care. This is coming in down <laughs> slow, so you know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, most of which we probably don't even want to talk about so far. Really inappropriate shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetting the instruments up later. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. every once, yeah, even every practice <laughs> is, uh, even every practice for me is memorable. I mean, we were going to try to get it down to nice since we're all up here, and I was just a little bit disappointed it didn't work out, and that's not of like, uh, towards any one of these guys, but even in the practice studio, we just have such a good time. Every time feels like a show. And for me, I think the biggest memory today so far was doing our first show. When we went out to, um, to Starbucks, Minnesota, we did a local thing that a lot of people put together out there called, um, oh, now I'm blanking somebody helping out. Utterfest. Yeah, Utterfest. So it's kind of a invite-only type thing. It's not prestigious by any means, but it's out in the middle of nowhere in a barn with a field. And a bunch of people that just get together and camp for the night and have a good time, fans all day, all night long. And, you know, it was, it was a good experience because we went through the whole, Jesse made a crack about forgetting bases, but we made it an hour and a half out of the cities before we were like, uh-oh, uh -oh. <laughs> we forgot Jesse's bases. Because I was already up there, yeah. so they were bringing the gear and yeah. uh, forget so the bases. So we, we turned around and then... I didn't believe him when he called me. <laughs> we got to do another road trip soon after that. It was our second show in Fargo. Yep. You know, so I mean, we're really coming up on a release next weekend's our fourth gig together as a band, but it doesn't feel like it, and um, I don't feel like it shows either. Right, so, and we've been working on our kind of kind of our whole model starting this thing was we want to come out swinging, and yeah. basically we stuck in a studio. We've had a practice space for I don't even know how long now, at least a year over a half. year, year and a half. Um, and we've been working on it. Mm -hmm. Just for that fact of the matter is we want to come out and be professional and be yeah. the band that um, everybody wants to kind of come and see. Yeah. Um, we're doing it right. And for us, it feels like we've been around for a while, but we're just, just breaking the surface. Yeah. So. Because, like, I know just even, like, looking at your guys' Facebook page, and, like, it seemed like, you know, you guys have a professional pre presence and, you know, pictures and everything, so. Yeah, and, um, I mean, the three of us have been around the, the block as far as bands go, we've been doing it for a long time, and uh, we've all had our own share of success. Spencer's uh, uh, 20 years old, and this is okay. this <laughs> is really all like, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, that's, so why, that's why I made the root beer crack. Yeah, you know? but I mean, he really is obsessed with root beer. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> we've been pounding the pavement for a while and um, we've seen success and we know what it takes to get there so um, I feel like three of the best players in the cities are sitting next to me and it's like that exciting yeah. so um, yeah I'm really excited cool. um, just another random question here um, it's probably a loaded question too but what is one thing in this world that you feel will never die if that makes sense <laughs> 
Um, you could take that in many different ways, but <laughs> or go away. Well, <laughs> my question, my answer would be simple. Mine is God, but these guys yeah. probably have a totally different one. So here you go. <laughs> uh, it'll never go away. Yeah. Art, I guess, just art in general. Yeah. You know, making music's the same as writing or yeah. drawing. <laughs> I like to make it things. Yeah. Myself? <laughs> Got you. I'm so young. I will be around this point forever. Ever. It's all root beer. I'm going to go with Danny on this one. Part of God, so. Yeah, I'll pair with Jesse in the sense that I mean, people have been finding ways to create something since the beginning of time, which can kind of go hand in hand with Andy and Spencer's view. Yeah. It's that people's want to do something more than what you do every day. You want to feel like you made an imprint on this world that will stick around forever. I mean, I still listen to albums that are 100 years old. You know what I mean? Like, it won't, you get it out there, especially now in the digital age, yep. stuff doesn't disappear anymore. And it's always yep, there. there. So, I think that's something for me that just is why I do it. I want to feel like when I'm gone, whatever is left of me spirit, spiritually is sticking around because of what I put forth with my heart and my soul. And it's, you know, the carbons, you know, I would disappear in the carbons at the end of the end of our days, and I want to have good carbons, <laughs> <laughs> plentiful carbons. Right. Good answers. Um, so, where can people watching this video uh, find you guys? Facebook, Twitter, any other social media websites? Any upcoming shows after November seventh? Uh, always check in arsonriver.com. We're working on always check in arsonriver.com. We're working on shows uh, more coming up so um, just keep it posted Facebook and all that jazz too well, make sure it's all the links below and everything too yeah, yeah. 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 Spotify, Spotify. Yeah. iTunes I mean everything that's out there that's pushing any form of music yeah. we've pretty much got our teeth into so yep. trying to make it as easy as possible for people to find us we don't tweet <clears> though really yeah we're not tweeters we're not tweeters yeah tweeters I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, have I don't know what to say either. Like, hey, uh, hi. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Everywhere but Twitter. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We're there. All right. Well, thank you guys for seeing that. Yeah, no problem. It. Yeah. Absolute freaking rubery. Okay. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> so check out Arson River. Check out Meet the Locals. And we'll see you next interview. Thanks. Woo!